Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to Empowering DIY. Um, as you all know, I think I did a video not too long ago. We got this uh, 99 Promaster. It's um, got a Johnson 220 on it. Um, got this from my father-in-law. It's been a been sitting around a little while, so we, we got it back over to the house. We're trying to work on it now, getting it working right, uh, getting it running. Um, it's starting to run a little bit better. But there's some stuff that we want to change up on it and uh, make this a little better. I think I have a game changer um, for any DIY electrical guys. And so um, let me get up in here. Let me get the cover off the console. And uh, we'll do a little unboxing video and see what I got for today. I'm telling you, game changer. Hold on just a second. All right, so <clears throat> I got the um, stuff up. Let's turn you around. I got, um, I got the cover off. Boat's still a little dirty. Uh, every time the wind blows, you know, I get crap from the trees. And um, this week, I plan on giving this boat a real good scrubbing for the first time in a few years. Um, so don't mind the dirt. Um, got a horn coming. Um, the horn was bad. It was actually full. It was crazy. It was full of dirt daubers completely inside there. All right. So I took the whole thing apart and cleaned it out. It's getting voltage, but um, I guess because the dirt daubers got in there, I don't know how the horn works. It's just a bunch of diaphragms right there, and I guess it just decided not to work. <clears throat> oh, well. Anyways, um, the fish finder is a low, low rent hook review, um, as you can see. Um, just put that on. Um, <clears throat> it, The wiring under here is atrocious. It's not good at all. Some of it is my fault. Like this stuff here is literally just laying in here uh, to do some some testing. So that was that's just a bundle of wires. Got that out of there. That goes up to a light on the front of the console, and this is my horn. So um, the rest of this wiring is a whole harness from another boat that apparent or another motor that was repowered or another another console i'm scared to mess with that because i really don't know what's working what's not um so i'm gonna clean it up and set it over there but anyways we got the switch panel here you know power bilge pump the recirc um the nav anchor lights and your aerator for the for the live well well there's no really other room for lights or anything i can put another switch panel but then you have to get to the um the power distribution block which is literally like right here underneath here and it is not fun getting to it so let's do a little box them let's let's do a little unboxing i'm excited this here i found on amazon let me switch the camera sorry all right this here i found on amazon um i will put a link in the description below <clears throat> um they are not sponsoring me at all like i said i literally just found this and went through a handful of them and thought this was cool so i get this one um this is a eight gang switch panel system right so you got you got eight switches and it comes with stickers and we'll we'll get into how the stickers work here in a little bit all right, we have the relay panel, which is a fused relay panel. And another reason why I went with this instead of a lot of others, I'll show you in just a second. Let's keep going. All right, there's a switch panel. Again, there's no stickers on there. But <clears throat> the cool thing about it is I already had some holes here. I should be able to. Doing this one handed. Anyways, you get the gist. Like that. I'll mount that right there. And now we have all the switches we need. I'm going to put. I started talking about that a second ago, but I forgot to finish. That is literally wired directly to the to the battery in the back 
um, which isn't good. It does have a fuse on it, but it's always got it's always got power on it, and so I wanted to put it on a switch, and then we put a light here. Um, that's not on a switch, and right now there's my son. Right now we are working on the bait tank. Um, the the uh, water pump went bad, so um, I went ahead and ordered a new one of those, and I've added a light, which is dirty right now, so see, added a light in here, and that's so that the bait doesn't get shocked every time you open the lid. If you keep a light in there on when the bait's in there, when it's bright outside and you open the lid, it doesn't shock them. So um, we're adding that in. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna run the wiring down. I've already got it ran through this joint right here and sealed off and it's been there so long it's already filthy dirty and I'll clean all that up. Um, but we'll get in all that in a little bit. Let's keep unboxing. <laughs> See what a kind of cool stuff. <clears throat> so this is the mountain bracket for the panel. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not. We'll see. And it comes with your power to add to the thing. We, we won't need that. That's for like a truck or a car. Bunch of screws. Hmm. Screwdriver. And then this is your connector. Um, this is rooster approved, obviously. Anyways, um, this is the connector to go between the fuse panel and the switch up start up there and it's nice that's pretty long so we have options and then here is your main power and your ground for this which is neat because it already comes with the fuse and it already comes made up <clears throat> again this is a game changer guys game changer comes with that extra fuses and some big fuses for the main power coming in all right the biggest reason why i decided to go this way is one the um the whole setup it's got built-in solid state relays inside it <clears throat> and then two a lot of times when i've dealt with panels like this i've had to um run a separate ground well because you're running this power and this ground to this it gives you a power and ground terminal for every um, for every lead which is neat because now all I have to do is I can run a positive negative to every light or every accessory I want straight to here and I don't have to run a separate ground it's all right here so if you have a light you know 12 volt positive light bam bam you know positive negative done if you have a pump positive negative done and so forth so this is very neat and you can do that eight times you got eight different circuits and so the sky's the limit really on this um, and then and then the cool thing is is this is an accessory wire so i'll wire this into the powers the main power switch so when we get on the boat all you gotta do is push power on and this has power and then when you get done on the boat for the day you turn that power switch off and everything turns off so um this is really neat um we'll get installing it and i'll keep you updated as we go all right so what i did was um this has a bunch of screws, has six screw holes in the back, probably, I think eight actually. Anyways, um, I just took two of them for now and I put the two screws in the back um, of the switch panel and I put it on onto this panel where I wanted it and I pushed down real hard and kind of scratched it. And I just took my drill bit, um, which if y'all haven't seen these yet, bad dag tool, bad dog tools drill bits you got to get these drill bits um, they're amazing they can drill into concrete steel wood anything and the the, the grinder to, to sharpen the bit I mean anyways I can't talk very good drill bits um, <clears throat> so then I pulled the panel loose and you know drilled it out carefully pulled the panel loose and you can see I'm out of my two screws in the back and it is solid it's not going anywhere so next step get my switch or my um, the fuse panel 
mounted and now it comes with this bracket you can mount this bracket like this somewhere and put this like on top of it or you can mount it like this against the wall somewhere or you can flush mount it like that and of course this will be under the console I'm just showing you um, so I'm not sure yet what I want to do um, the wiring let's go into there and explain that a little bit <clears throat> so here's the deal I have two batteries under here for the charler motor right they're running 24 volts this I'm gonna run 12 volts you can actually run this 24 volts by the way um, I don't need to all my accessories are 12 volt but I'm gonna run this um, anyway I'm gonna run this these accessories off of my trolling motor batteries and now here's why I'm planning on running my research pump for the bait tank all the time if there's bait in there that pump should be running the light should be on in there all the time and then of course we're gonna be running the trailer motor I mean not the trailer motor the fish finder and stuff now these are deep cell batteries they can be drained really really low and it's 24 volts at the end of the day I would much rather I lose my trailer motor than my starting motor in the back of the boat so again there's probably a lot of different opinions on it but this is the way I'm gonna do it because again I feel more comfortable killing this battery than I do my starting battery and be out in the middle of the lake and trying to swap these batteries around just so I can start my motor I hope that makes sense so with that being said it's just gonna make it that much easier because I can mount it basically wherever I want in here and the the power wires that they gave me are plenty long enough to about put it anywhere in here that's the live well in front of me that's the live well in front of me so I can't drill into it and then these are the sides of the console so I can't drill into it because you know you don't want screws poking from the outside um, so what I may do I got the cover pulled off um, looking underneath the gas tank is under there um, so I'm just trying to make sure I'm not drilling any where crazy what I may do is I um, may mount that panel right here let's see uh, yeah, let's just throw it on the I may mount it just like that that way it's not a very far run for the power wire the accessory wire can get ran up to the panel right there and then um, all my other wires for the accessories that I'm trying to run would be easy access and easy access to the fuse panel and stuff um, so I'm still thinking about it but this might be it and what I'll do is turn the camera back on after I get it mounted because it's kind of hard to mount that stuff one-handed inside this console anyways and I need to do a little bit more cleanup before I get there so I'll be back all right so what I did instead of the other side for troubleshooting purposes I thought it'd be easier to get over to this side so I mounted my bracket to the side of that little inlet with two screws so this can sit right there and the cool thing is those two screws are on slots so all I have to do is loosen them and I can take the whole bracket up and pull it closer to me if I have to. So <clears throat> that's right. That's where I'm at. Let me uh, keep chugging along and I'll fill you in as I can. All right. So here we're at. Here's where we are at. Um, again, as you see my two screws there, um, I made it to where I can get, I can pull it out if I have to and work on it just like this so now I'm not laying on my side trying to wire this up um, here and again I'll put all this in um, I'll put it in you know some type of conduit or whatever flex stuff just clean it up um, but these two 
this power and ground is for the the bait tank um, which is down here on the ground but I got a new one and again I'm gonna run some conduit up through here and run some <clears throat> You know the zip ties or whatever you know sticky things and zip ties to hold all this so all this is temporary um but anyways power and ground these wires had to be bigger so they can run the the um the pump so make sure you run rated pump and then here's the light in the bait tank and then here's my fish finder right here and over here is the light on the front of the console so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire all this stuff up right here. Make sure the wires are long enough to loop up inside there, dress them all up, and put them all together. But what I wanted to show you real quick, so the sun's kind of bright and making shadows, <clears throat> is how to do these type of connections. Um, I bought this off of Amazon, and then I dropped it conveniently, so that's great. Um, but... Uh, don't do that that's in pain anyways um, comes with a ferrule tool um, these are amazing for projects like this even if you don't use this a whole lot just to have it is amazing it, it makes ends like this very neat very tidy very secure and you don't have to worry about um, you know them coming loose or whatever but these things are super tight so what I'll do is uh, I wish my cameraman wasn't riding his dirt bike right now I'd, I'd, I'd actually get him to film in how I do it but basically you just strip it back you get you the right size like that this is the smaller one and it actually has a guide on what gauge wire you would need need and so like the smallest one is the 22 gauge so I'll use that strip it back stick it in this tool here like that not all the way like that pull the trigger and you know pull the handle and it does a nice little focus focus there you go it does a nice little end now you want the wire all the way to the end I'm a little short on that one but it's it's in there if you look carefully um, but you want you want the wire all the way from there to there and it crimps out every bit of that wire and then you just want the housing right here you are the the wire insulation up to like right there and that's it and then you all you gotta do is loosen your screws <clears throat> slide that in underneath the panel and tighten it back down and that is the most secure connection you can possibly think of so let me do that a bunch of times and i'll show you what it looks like all right first of all don't look at a few sizes i haven't changed them yet um, but I got the wiring done if, As you can see they look all clean and pretty and they're tight secure The way the way I did it is um, One is my fish finder two is that console light I skipped three and four because I'm gonna run interior lights. So it just makes sense to have two three and four to have interior lights <clears throat> and then um, five is my bait tank pump and six is the bait tank light so these two you know those two buttons will go together um and then i'll have um seven and eight to do you know anything else that i want to do so and then all you got to do is like the light needs a three amp fuse and then the um pump needs a 15 amp fuse the uh, fish finder needs a three amp fuse and the other light needs a three amp fuse so i need to go i need to go to the hardware store and, or to the auto parts store and buy a pack of three amp fuses um and then i'll have some spares too and then all i gotta do now one problem i ran into i didn't think about this when i initially said something about the auxiliary wire my intention was to run it off of this power switch here now this power switch runs off of the main battery on the motor. Hold on, let me turn my camera. I think I have to redo all this, but <clears throat> anyways, my intention was to run this switch panel off of this power wire. This power wire runs off the main battery. I'm running this panel off of these batteries in here, which you can't see, it's awfully dark. So 
this auxiliary wire won't work on that power switch because it's not grounded to the other battery. Now I think I may can run a ground to that terminal, but I don't want to risk over voltage. I shouldn't, because this still should be 12 volt, and that's just grounding it to the other battery. I gotta think about this. So I don't know what to do with my auxiliary switch. Worst comes worst, just to test it out, I'll just land it straight on the battery. Um, and then I'll, I might try it, you know, run. I got a ground here somewhere. Anyways, in this mess, I have a spare ground. So I may can run it to here and run this to that power switch and see if that works. And I'll put a fuse on here just to make sure. Um, and I'll let you know how it goes. But for now, what I'm going to do is get all this buttoned up, get all the wiring tucked back out of the way, zip tie some of this maybe, um, and get the, the wires hooked up so we can test it out. I'm not trying to drag this video on too long. So let's get it, uh, let's get it in place. All right, so it's getting dark. We actually took a break, went grocery shopping, um, and then come back and the sun's setting. A pretty sunset goodness anyways um and it was actually nice because it's cooled off out here and i was able to get some of this, this done and uh, my idea for the other battery worked let me show you <clears throat> all right so i haven't cleaned up my mess yet um but i got it mounted the auxiliary wire is uh running to this power switch and i ran if you see this blue wire right here, I ran this blue wire to an extra ground that I had on the back battery. So what I'm doing is I'm triggering the auxiliary switch with my running battery, which is neat because now, see everything's dead. I hit my power button. Now it comes on, right? Now, everything that is wired up to each switch is wired up to that one battery so for example hit the first button as you see the light come on and that gives me power to the um fish finder the um this light here is for it's not quite dark enough yet so won't won't show up but that light and then this button here is for the very dirty bait tank, but it's working. Um, I got to clean it all out. Got the new pump in. Uh, yeah, it's disgusting. But anyways, pump's working, and then what I'll do is run. I'll put the filter in, um, the housing there, I'll put it in, and then I'll straighten up all these wires and figure out how I'm going to mount them. Excuse me. And then this button here is for the light. I know you can't really tell, it's still kind of daylight. There it is. There you go. Um, so, <clears throat> what I really like about it is, one, it's so much easier. So much easier. You literally run power and ground to each terminal down there to each device so now I have I have four empty slots that I haven't used yet and uh, I got some for the interior lights you know whatever if I do left side right side whatever I want um, and then I have these two as well um, and by no means am I even close to fully loaded on this um, on this panel um, but then what was if I wired that red trigger wire up straight to that battery um, this would stay on 24 7 now what's cool is if you hit this button it turns everything off right away but the thing is the panel stayed powered up so that's why I was worried about that so now when I'm done when we get back from the lake whatever hit the power button and the power is off to everything now the only thing I got to do left is figure out what stickers I want to use um and they did give some spare wires 
And for all those people saying it's gonna go bad on the boat, it probably will. But this rubber cover should make the switches last a little bit longer. All we gotta do is pop that on top and it'll keep the, the rain out of it. And I keep, I keep the console covered with the tarp as much as possible so that everything doesn't get wet. Um, but it come with a bunch of stickers. You know, you can use, it's even got fish box on there. Um, whatever. And then we'll use lights, something. We'll figure something out. Um, and then that way we kind of just know, I'm struggling. We'll kind of just know what button goes where. Um, we could probably use none of these fish box is about all i can use <laughs> gps i i can use gps Lights. and then yeah i'll use the um the floodlight or cubes or whatever we'll figure something out and all you got to do is stick those on there and we're done so and not going to drag the video on, not going to sit there and show you every detail and get my hand out the camera. Um, so I'm just going to cut it out right there. Basically, I uh, just wanted to show you what we're doing on this boat so we can go fishing. Here we go fishing. Um, we have been fishing, but we're just trying to make everything a little bit easier. And now we can use the bait tank and, um, and everything seems to be just wired up just a little bit better. And uh, we'll go have some fun. So thank y'all for watching Empowering DIY. Thank y'all for the new subscribers. I've noticed a bunch already lately. So thank y'all. And uh, hit the like button and the notification bell. And I'm going to try to keep putting more videos out. Y'all have a good one.